Welcome to Grounded. <laughs> Alright, so what is up and welcome back to Talking Grounds. We haven't did one of these in a minute. If you guys are wondering why I'm sitting on the couch like this, it's because we got some pretty crazy news today. Check this out. Uh, for those who are right off the bat, there will be no update today. Um, we are actually working on a, a much bigger update uh, that will requires uh, a lot more time uh, that we're hoping to release uh, by the end of the year. And uh, we are looking to release information and news on this next update uh, in this fall. So uh, there you go. Nice. And uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Be on the lookout for fall. So as you guys seen there, the devs are announcing their next update, but not quite yet. They're saying that this is a much larger update and it's needing much more time. And they want to tell us more in the fall time. Super sick that they want to have it out by the end of the year. So we'll see what they can do with that. What could it possibly be? I mean, we could be looking at maybe Fire Ant Queen, maybe a couple bosses, maybe a bunch of new gear, maybe new weapons. If they need a lot more time, it's definitely going to be more than just the little tiny updates that we've been getting. So I just wanted to kind of cover that real quickly before we get into the rest of the stuff. Really, really sick, man. I'm super stoked. Um, let me know what you guys think they're going to drop on us. You guys think maybe we'll get the house. Maybe we'll get a whole other section of the yard. Maybe they'll redo a bunch. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. In this video, I want to talk about 10 things that you can do if you're bored of Grounded right now. Number one, clear grass. So as you guys seen by the very beginning of this video, my world is humongous. And that's simply because I have no grass around my entire base. I've chopped down all the grass and I've built a bunch of structures all over the place. So if you are bored, think about clearing some grass and building in the areas that you clear. Number two, create outposts. So along the lines, the same thing as with clearing grass, as you're clearing grass, you can kind of see where, you know, some good spots for some bases will be that you can actually use instead of having to run back to your main base every single time. This has helped me tremendously because I don't always have to run back to my main tower. I can just kind of go back to an outpost, drop stuff off, go right back out and farm. And then at the end of all my farming, I can then transfer everything back to my main tower base in just a chest of full of items. Outposts are a very, very good idea. Number three, stockpile resources when the new update comes out they're bound to have a lot of new craftables and a lot of new stuff so you're going to need a lot of resources for this make sure you are ready make sure you have a bunch of chests ready and stockpiled full of resources so that way when the update drops you can hop right into things and you will not have to grind you won't have to farm get it all ready right now number four max level your equipment so along the lines of stockpiling resources you're going to get a lot of stuff that's going to help you to max level your stuff recommending having max level armor and max level weapons because everything that we've done so far has required not our necessarily top tier leveled up armor things in the game right now are kind of doable if you don't have top tier level armor but i'm only assuming that they're going to add more end game content like the infected brewmother and if they do you're going to want some pretty strong gear Number five, max level your mutations. Every mutation kind of has a bunch of levels to them, and you are going to want to level up each and every mutation. Uh, there's a lot of them. Work on getting all the mutations if you do not have them already, but they all level up to a mastery level that then give you a secret extra little perk on top of what they already do. Number six, fight bosses. I've beaten the Broodmother 100 times. I've beaten the Infected Broodmother over 100 times. I've beaten the Mantis a bunch of times. The only boss I, I have not beaten a lot is the Wasp Queen. I just don't see no use for it. There's not a lot of stuff that the Wasp Queen kind of makes right now. Just fight the bosses, get a bunch of parts. You will not have to fight the bosses for a long time after that. And you'll kind of have a lot more time to work on fighting any new bosses that they add instead of fighting all the old bosses. Fight all the old bosses now, and then when the new ones come out, you won't have to revisit the old ones for a while. Number seven, decorate bases. There is a lot of decoration items in the game, so go through and decorate your bases if you are bored. Make them look neat. Make them look nice. And if you guys want me to tour your bases, this goes hand in hand with that. Decorate your bases. Make them look cool, and we'll get them in a video. And you'll also just feel better in your zone and actually get comfiness from it so if you do not have max comfiness yet work on getting max comfiness number eight play in creative mode if you are bored of survival and you're not a survival person feel free to play in creative mode when the new update
update comes out, everything that they drop in the update is going to be available in creative. So, I mean, if you want to just kind of build freely and not have to worry about survival mode, play in creative. A lot of people kind of get bored of survival after a while. I have recently made a creative world with the giant obstacle wall called the grounded only up wall. If you haven't seen the videos on my channel, make sure you all go check them out. If you guys would like to attempt the only up wall, make sure you guys join the discord down in the description and you guys can get in on it. Five dollars for anyone that can beat the wall. Think you can take on the challenge? Creative is a good way to express yourself and a good way to kind of kill some time. But it's always good to have one creative world and one survival world. Number nine, make mini games, whether it be in survival mode or creative mode. Creative is a little bit easier too, but you can make mini games in uh, creative mode. Kind of use your creativity and uh, make things like you can make checkers, you can make chests, you can make obstacles. You can do a bunch of different kind of things with all the stuff bugs and everything and make different kinds of mini games to your heart's desire. If you guys want me to try any mini games that you got, let me know down in the comments and I'm definitely down to try any mini games that you all can come up with. And number 10, make huge builds. Build big. Why not, right? Make something just absolutely awesome and big builds come a lot of decoration you can do a lot with the bigger builds you can't really do a lot with smaller builds so if you want stuff to take up more of your time make sure you make bigger builds spend your time decorating them spend some time filling it up with resources and everything else if y'all did enjoy this video make sure you guys let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section subscribe to the channel if you are new hit the bell notification to get notified every time i go live every time i make a video i try to make somewhat daily content but lately i've been going every other day just to kind of spread it out a little bit. But when the update comes out, you best believe this will be the best spot for all the new grounded content. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.